Nice campsite. neighbor so this is going to be the most awkward video we made yet but we're here this is our campsite perfect two trees hopefully we don't get any neighbors come if we do right Oh, you forgot to put the bug net on first. All right, it was me. Bless you. If you struggle with knots, cam jams. We got our steel foraging pegs, some tarp holes, and a tarp. Let's make this work. You're not supposed to film from this side. You're supposed to film from this side and be in the sun. How you guys been? Welcome back to camp. It's a beautiful uh, Saturday, August 5th. We got here early. It's 2 o'clock. Wicked early start for us. It's close to 80 degrees outside. It's a gorgeous day. Um, a bit behind on my upload schedule, so you probably see this about December. But next weekend, we're going to Pennsylvania. Um, Elements Music Festival. I'll be there for four days. We're gonna camp and uh, it's amazing. I'm so excited. We get to see 
uh, Ganja White Knight, Res, and Subtronics all in the same event. Unbelievable. I got a free hammock stand laying over there, metal one that goes in the yard. I wanted to test if we could use it for my hammocks um, before we bring it to the music festival because when we go there, there's nowhere to hang a hammock and I prefer a hammock. So we're gonna test that out in a little while. All right, stick around. soft ground here in Greenfield, New Hampshire. It's a lovely state park. We're a little busy. We got neighbors on one side of us kind of eyeballing me and uh, I mean I get it but at the same time find something else to do bud. I don't know. How you guys been? All right, you look well. Nice to see you again. Thanks for coming by. Everybody does everything different. This is how I do it. I'm not saying it's right. It's just what I figured out so far. What I do is set up my cam jam on one end, take my tarp pole, pull the cap off, find the eyelid of the tarp, put the cap back on. Then, Get covered in dew from the last camp. What the hell is that? Hopefully water. This looks good. We'll figure out where to put a stake. Pull your cam jam. Done, tight, good to go. That's one. Let's get over there and do two. So, once again, tarp pull. Cap through the hole. Cap on. Pull extend. Around, be nice and soft. And the tiny shoe is loop it, just loop it, and you pull. It's up. Beautiful. Oh, 
Maybe we'll get that thermos out after all. My people. I got the last bit of kit out of the truck. Under quilt, blanket, and pillow. I brought a sleeping bag, but I don't think we're going to need it. It's pretty warm right now, but we'll grab it later if we do. Now, this isn't a pro tip because I don't consider myself to be a pro, but if you take one stuff sack, in this case I use my bug net one, and you hang it on the outside of your hammock, you can put all your other stuff sacks in it from your entire sleep kit. I don't know. That's all I got. All right. Two more pieces of kit. We have our Hike Nature Ultralight Inflatable Pillow. They're pretty popular now, I see. More people are using them um, because it's comfy, it's compact, and they work well. But shouts to every other YouTube camper I watch that also uses them. I like to go light on the air when I'm in the hammock because you don't need much. What do we got? Brick Volvo? Sick. I don't know where that road goes, but there's some nice rides coming through. Alright, there's pillow, there's a blanket, there's under quilt to keep the draft out of off your bum. And then the last bit is my puffy blanket. If you need a puffy blanket, might I suggest puffy blanket. I really like the print and it has eyelets on it. I could use it as an underquilt. And the last stuff sack of the sleep system. There she is. I think we got a squirrel friend next to us. All right, let's get this thermos out cracking. I did just pick up some new gas. I like these little MSRs. Uh, Thermosel Backpacker Edition. It's the preferred brand for me because I'm not trying to buy a million little gas refills. It's more compact, I feel. You could take it with your backpacking with a smaller can of gas. I don't know. I don't need to justify it. I like this one. Sometimes that's all the reason you need, you know? Extra pads. Let's crack that beer. We have Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA. Now, I've said before, I'm not a big fan of IPAs. Oh, that's a splinter. Ooh, yikes. Not a big fan of IPAs, but it's all they had available at the store that I stopped at for singles. And I'm not gonna be here long enough, nor do I drink enough to get like a 12 pack or a six pack even. And they're all warm. Um, I need it cold, because I brought this rice. We got a steak. We're going to attempt steak and cheese subs later. I got a good cheese, onions, peppers, bread, and teriyaki sauce. So that'll be amazing. Alright, two things. The artwork is incredible. Very cool. Um, it's 9%, so this <laughs> is going to get real sloppy real fast. And this doesn't taste anything like the last IPA I had. The last IPA was the one with the woody wagon on it. I forget, but this is actually really good. Nice. All right, what do you say we set up this hammock stand?
my ass. There's the public beach for the campers. People in the water. And that's what you have here at the Greenfield National Park. Well, Greenfield State Park, New Hampshire. Um, national parks are illegal to film in without a permit. I don't know about state parks, but we'll find out when we get the fine, right? Let's keep them wandering. Oh, we got people. How's it going, little dude? It's quite freaking nice out here. What's up, dog? That's cool. All right, let's check out the store. Uh, camp's fucked up because of the storm. Forgot my wallet. There's no point to check out the store. So, here's what it is. We're headed back. Let's go. Ooh, who drives that sweet ride? Oh dang, it looks like we forgot to refill the lint in our fire kit. We do have a bunch of fire plugs and a lighter and some matches and looks like two pieces of fatwood. But I found these Weber uh, lighter cubes for lighting charcoal. They were on sale at Target for $2, so I decided to give them a try. I've never used them before. It says, I believe, wait a half an hour. Lighter cubes must be completely burned before cooking. If swallowed, do not induce vomiting. Okay, so let's use one, see how it goes. And uh, it's too early to cook now anyway, but I'm eager to get the fire going, so let's see what they do. Wow, that white cube lit immediately. See how it goes. What do you guys think? I think it worked flawlessly. Hope I'm not annoying my neighbors too much. Okay. Finish that. <laughs> oh. He's living.
All right, boys and girls. I don't know if I'm in frame or not, but it's time to make dinner. Hey, look who remembered to plate this time. Rock on. All right, we have, I bought whole wheat flatbread, thin sandwich rolls. We're gonna make steak and cheese. We have a sweet onion. Actually, I think that's a yellow onion. And a red pepper, trash bag. We have a steak in here, some teriyaki sauce, and a block of cheese. So, let's get to it. I need a knife. Here we go. Pans, our knife fork kit. Shout out to whatever plastic injection molding company made this. Sistema, New Zealand. These things rule. All right, we got our SOG neck knife. Yeah, they pronounce it SOG, but I'm not that. Okay. First thing we're gonna do. Caught this pe pepper right at the edge of ripeness because it is crisp but a little rubbery. So, hmm. Just gonna use our mini frying pan. It's a lovely onion. I apologize for the background noise. We'll get to wild camping eventually, but today is not that day, obviously. So a little timid about the whole thing. All right, so the plan is to cook these a little bit and then add cheese and melt the cheese on top as they're cooked, but I don't know how that'll go. I like these plates though. All right, onions and peppers. Extra sharp cheddar. A little bit of teriyaki sauce and our ice pack is still icy, so that's good. And we have a grass-fed Angus ribeye. These are uh, incredibly tender. Get. We'll save the rest of this for steak and a topping after the fact. Okay, let's get this cracking. A good start. Now we need to chunk up some cheeses. Mm. Oh, excuse me. IPAs are talking to me. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good cheddar. There we go, I'm gonna chunk that up so it'll hopefully melt over our vegetables when they're ready. And we're thinking we're gonna do a couple extra slices just to go on our sandwich in case it's not melted, not cheesy enough, which I suspect will be the case. The rest of this we'll wrap up and attempt to bring home. We'll see how that goes. Oh. And our vegetables are on fire. In a typical camper fashion, I think that was all of my knuckle hair in the first stir. And uh, now we wait. I'm gonna reduce these. 
but the veg is about done. Let's give it a test. Hmm, that's the perfect crunch. Let's see if we can melt some cheese on it. Good, let's liberate the steak. Got some water left. A little bit of ice, a lot of water. Don't forget, folks, 80 degree days like this. Every beer you drink, you're supposed to drink the equivalent of water. Who am I to say? I'm not a drinker, so. Okay. What do you think? You want to go for it? Let's go for it. I really brought a generator to camp. Hooray! Quiet again. Let's get some bread cooking. Steak looks almost done. Here we go. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Ooh, that was close. It didn't quite work. We burnt some of the cheese. Because I always burn everything. But. It's a little bit of carcinogenic cheese in there, but the rest of it's going to be delicious. Look at that. It melted perfectly. Got a little extra and some bread. Let's go. A little raw in the middle, still. So. Give that another couple of minutes. Delicious flatbreads. Let's toast these up. Delicious. No pine needles in my dinner, please. Oh yeah. Mm. I don't think my camera will pick it up, but that is delicious, perfect pink. All right. Oh no, my bread. Mm. All right, we burned it. That bread is burnt, so we're gonna try again with some fresh bread, because that's how I roll. Nobody wants burnt bread on their delicious sandwich, but when their veg is getting cold, this burnt section can go. No survivors. Mmm. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I burned him again. 
Third time's the charm. Time right here. We go. Ten seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whatever comes after nine. Here we go. Good enough. They got grill marks. They're not burned. Let's eat. A little bit extra cheddar. Slow mo action shot. Hmm. Second and last beer as well to go with dinner. Still ice cold. <laughs> well, that's one of the better camping meals we've ever made right there. Look at that. Unbelievable. We did it. We did it. Cheers, everybody. All right, per usual. <clears throat> Sorry, you had to see me eat a bite. I'm going to tuck into this. I'm not going to have you watch. We don't do that on this channel. Mouth noises are gross, but it is unreasonably delicious. <sighs> Stuffed. For complaining about the size of the steak it just surprised me I mean, it was the first beer that filled me up but either way that was a lot and i'm full that was delicious my goodness clean plate club yikes all right um i'm packing up I'm gonna wash my dishes pretty soon but let's get this ice out of this bag and into our bottle Classy bottle, if I say so myself. Ziploc freezer bag full of ice makes a good ice pack if you don't have an ice pack. Oh, not enough of that today for being 80 degrees. All right, that's it for the food bag. That's empty. And that's one less thing. One step closer to putting things away. Let's get the pans out of here. Try and turn the headlamp for later. Have to burn this. Nice campsite. For those wondering how the glamour life of camping is, smooth knuckles, baby. These clamps are great for holding your trash bag to your table, though. All right.
less glamorous side of camping is the dishwashing. Let's go. My camera's recording upside down right now, I guess, but this is the bathroom facilities. Women's, men's on the other side, but double sinks with motion sensor lights. Pretty sweet. Oh yeah, that's a joy. Oh yeah, that feels good on the burn hand. Sweet. And that's dishes done. That's how we roll. It's the FBI. <laughs> hey, all right, Kevin, there's another one. Safety third is the podcast of the night for now, folks. Chilling, dinner's made, stuffed. We're just hanging, enjoying the evening. Man, this is living. <sighs> yep. My truck, got my hammocks, got my fire. In the family. I think this is where uh, superior campers would say, doesn't get any better than this. That was a nice visit with the fam. They took off. <sighs> Wife played softball all day. My daughter has bedtime in about a half an hour. So they just came to say hi. I didn't know if they were gonna spend the night. They didn't bring anything to sleep in or anything. So it's just us tonight. Thanks for being here guys, appreciate you. Um, if you can't tell, I am several sheets to the wind and having a great time. Just relaxing by the fire until it's bedtime. It's real nice, thanks for coming. Where are you going? Are you drunk too, buddy? You can't fall. Only one of us can be drunk at a time. Thought it was my turn. All right. Well, now that it's just me and quiet time, we're going to get back into some podcasts, I think. Which works great. Alexa, order a driver side door switch for an 86 to 93 Mazda B2200. Add to cart, pay now. Barefoot shoes do not protect your toes. Whew. All right. Well, <clears throat> now that we regrouped, <clears throat> oh. 
What a night. It's um, 8.30, it's dark, you probably can't see much. I do have lights, but not lights worthy of filming. Um, I did just see a lantern recommended by Lone Wolf 902, shout outs to him, um, that I might pick up for filming at night. But I'm gonna take down this hammock and put it away because I'm not gonna use it after dark or in the morning. So I'm gonna put it away now and then put the stand away and probably get ready to get tucked in. All right, campers, it's winding, the night's winding down, but that doesn't mean we can't do hygiene. We got Listerine, I have a folding toothbrush. I found that at Target, that was nice. Toothpaste, and I did find some floss, so we can pr practice good hygiene. We just had a neighbor come over from another campsite. I guess he complained about another neighbor. I don't know, I don't have any problems with anybody. We're all happy to be camping to each their own. Night's winding down, what do we got? It's only 8.43 and I'm already ready for bed. Jesus, I got old quick. It's 72 right now. The forecast is to get in the 50s overnight, so I did put my sleeping bag in the hammock, keep me nice and warm. I have my, um, I think, 30 degree bag in there right now. Um, although, Santa, if you're listening, I was at Sierra today and I found a North Face Down sleeping bag. Um, that it's got my name on it, so I'm gonna need that real quick. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna get some sleep. I'll see you in the morning and good night. I've been trying to sleep off and on for hours. My body hurts. Let's get up and make coffee. Bro, this truck's having enough problems. Get off my ride. I need cracking on coffee because I don't know why. I just want to, and I want to get back in the hammock and chill before I have to leave. Which I say every time and almost never do. So let's try that this time. I've seen it done before. MSR Parker Rocket. You're not supposed to use this bottle, you can buy an adapter. Works like a charm.
fold out the handles first before you make it hot, or else you won't be able to grab it later. Seems to be getting hot, so. I assume that's my stove, not the gas. I don't know if it's. See the summit, pour over, Yodi mug. Chokes the pan. This is San Francisco Bay Fog Chaser. How's that smell to you? Pretty good, right? Hey, for the first time ever, I think I timed it right, where I finished grinding and the water's boiling. I am smart. I'm a firm believer in keeping it hot, too. Put everything back in its container for next time. Alright boys and girls, I don't know how much more I'll get because you're almost out of storage space. So if this is the end, thanks for coming. We'll see you next time. We're going to drink, sip this coffee in the hammock, pack it up, and get back to the family for some uh, homemade breakfast. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Try the coffee before we leave, right? Oh, yeah, that's too hot to drink. Per usual, burn myself. Cheers, everyone. Good morning. About packed up. It's quarter of eight. The only thing left is this hammock, puppy blanket. Air up the truck and get be gone. So, I'm gonna relax for a minute and we'll do that. Thanks for watching. Man, it's nice morning.